Right, so we're going to talk to Sven now about uh, the concise conversations first date questions. These are basically to get to know him a little bit better and they're the sort of questions that would be asked on a first date if you went out with a techie nerd. Sven, first question, what was your first computer? computer. Well, actually my very first computer was... Uh, ah, brilliant. Give me a second. Yeah. If you if you can consider this being a computer, it's a yes, a speak and spell. Tex speak and spell. Texas Instruments speak and spell 1982. I received this from my uncle who was living in Texas by that time. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> it's obviously a, it's a it's a great computer which still works. Yeah. Um, that was my first uh, let's say computer, but my first real computer was actually a 1996 uh, uh, Macintosh right. uh, 4400. I should have guessed Which I loved, that. I still have it. As a, as, as, a, as a designer, it had to be a, a cool Macintosh product. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Do you still have yes. it? Do that was, have it? Yeah, I still have it. Oh, brilliant. Still have it. Um, I might be missing the adapters to actually get the, um, get the data from the computer. But, sure. Uh, but you know the data is still there and you could get it if you needed to. <laughs> it's all there. <laughs> brilliant. Uh, what has been your favorite piece of software or app? Well, uh, due to the fact that uh, I live in the mountains, yeah. uh, I love mountain yeah. sports, heavy mountain sports. I obviously, one of my m most preferred and most visited apps is any weather, right. weather related apps, uh, which are important, uh, plus the Avalanche uh, apps oh, uh, right. that I have, which is also super important uh, for security reasons. Um, that's interesting yeah, as, those a, are, I guess, that's the, as a as a British person, you know, it had never even entered my head that there could be a, such a thing as an avalanche app. But for for someone like you, it's like, yeah, better just check the weather. Oh, and the avalanches. All right, better not go out today. There's going to be an avalanche. It's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it's not about going out or not out, but whether you go skiing or not skiing, I think that's all right. right. Fair enough. Fair enough. You're not worried that an avalanche might sweep your house away. Very seldom that happens. <laughs> and if it did, it'd be on the app. So that's pretty cool. Pretty True. Cool. Yeah, you would know. <laughs> Wait, yeah, this, uh, this is a good answer. You, you sent us through these two before. What has been your best tech purchase of the last 12 months? Um, well, I, I think I, I mentioned this earlier. Um, I did purchase, purchase much tech over the past over the past 12 months so any tech uh, nerd that i would have my first date with at this point would turn around and most probably leave the bar <laughs> uh, but uh, my analog tech that i purchased was a uh, was reading glasses right uh, yeah. because i right. Uh, yeah. i got partially blind from my screen time uh, which increased massively over the past years yeah two years actually yeah. um, so that that's <laughs> That's what I purchased. Hey, you know, if it's technology and it helps your life, it's important. Those glasses. That's I. If I was a tech nerd having a date with you, I would not walk away. But you might walk away once you put your glasses on. That might be the problem. Might, might, <laughs> might, might. Uh, so yeah, you've you've been very well travelled. So this would be an interesting question uh, to get your perspective on. If you had to spend six months abroad somewhere that you've not spent before. Where would you go? What where would entice you? I would uh, I would most probably start from here and then head towards the east. Right. Um, right. Uh, there's many friends and family along the way. If you continue traveling towards the Middle East and then further down to UAE, there's many people that I would like to see um, spend time with. There's many people that I would like to meet. Yeah. I would like to spend time with and and just talk and listen to them uh, because this is something that I feel is is lacking due to the past two years of Corona oh, yeah. and, oh, yeah. and not having the chance to go to conferences and meet all these people from all over the world where you can have these small talk yeah. exchanges on certain perspectives and and the other way of seeing things uh, and I would most probably end up in Nepal Oh, uh, cool. not only for hiking but yeah. uh, but rather for visiting a 
a hospital that we have been funding okay. partially over the past years. It's a spinal uh, injury uh, hospital in Nepal. Yeah. Uh, where yeah. a member of Rotary, where Rotary has been intensively supporting building the hospital, um, training the trainers, um, sending medical equipment, but yeah. also financially supporting uh, buying medical equipment on site. And speci specifically now during Corona, there was a strong demand of, um, of, of security stuff, um, yeah. everything that you would need yeah. to wear in order to protect yourself. Cool, that's great. So that's what I would do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, brilliant. Um, so on concise conversations, we have room 202. It's nothing to do with uh, George Orwell's room 101. This is 202. Where would you put an item of technology that exists in the world today? You think the world would be better off without it? I would put uh, the gaming computers of my boys uh, in that room for a certain period of time on a daily basis and lock it up uh, and put two guards in front of it, heavily armed, uh, just to make sure that they don't sneak in and get it back. Um, that's what I would do. Yeah. I, would ban, yeah. I would ban digital consumption tools for larger periods of time. Yeah on a daily basis just to make sure that there is a detox possibility in the first place which does not exist if you just talk to yeah exactly your kids. yeah exactly and you know the the problem is that they're just they're getting so good at designing the games to trigger the the sort of dopamine hits in your brain that and then kid you know even as adults it's hard for us to like resist it but for kids it's it's a nightmare yeah, it's i uh it's impossible. I was speaking to my friend's son um, about this and he's like eight or nine and he just spent like six hours playing Fortnite. And I was just like, you just need to know that although you played this game for a long time, there's a, a group of 30 year old men in a room somewhere who are spending all their time trying to design something to rob you of your time and attention. So just make sure that you're making the right decision to play if you want to play and know that you, you know, there are people out there that are trying to manipulate you not for your own best interests. And he looked at me and told me to shut up. <laughs> 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 okay. Sounds familiar. Sounds familiar. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, this is the most important question that we have on Concise Conversations. We feel it tells people most about a person. What is your favorite keyboard shortcut? Well, I would say it's 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 Apple Plus or Apple Tab actually, just to right. switch programs yeah. or right. apps. Yeah. But if I really think about it, it's not that it's not it's not the the the, the Apple Tab. It's most probably Apple Z, right. because any oh, wrong yes. decision that oh, you yes. took, <laughs> you can re uh, uh, reiterate <laughs> and bring it back. Especially when you're doing creative work and and design work, you know. What do you reckon it's the mo most, uh, you know, if I sometimes do some you know, development work. What do you reckon is the most control Z you've pressed in a row to get back somewhere? <laughs> well, if you, uh, if, Apple if Z, you, if sorry, you work in a three D, no, yeah, Apple Z, yeah, sorry. <laughs> if you if you work in a in a three D program or oh, back then, if you worked in a three D program that didn't have a history, that drove you nuts because at one point oh, you yeah. understood that the decision that you took way down way back was causing problems now. Yeah. So um, yeah. I think, or even writing texts, if you have to edit text, I mean, sometimes you go back, uh, yeah. but most of the programs, <laughs> they, they don't have problems with doing that. Exactly. Brilliant, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for spending some time with us answering the first eight questions. Well, thank you, Bob. Uh, thank you very much for answering, ask, asking those eight questions. <laughs>